Many customers have come in these cars, others on these bikes, with the riders eagerly waiting to return the customers to various destinations. This is what it looks like just outside this entrance every day. You are who you are, possibly described by your manner of arrival, in your car, on a bike, or on foot. Right inside, all this means nothing to nobody as everyone is placed on an equal pedestal and united with one purpose. This is a popular local fast food spot somewhere in Yaba, a highly commercialized part of Lagos State, where irrespective of who you are or where you're coming from, you'll have to stay in queue if you really want to eat. Watch this. In here, you queue for your choice of solid, then queue again for your choice of soup, and yet another queue to pay your bill before you finally settle down to enjoy your meal. At a time when so many westernized fast food centers seem to have taken over every major street in the nation's commercial capital, and where life is lived at jet speed, it is easy to assume that local fast food joints popularly referred to as buka or mama put have gone into extinction, or at least have become less popular. The situation here reveals the exact opposite of such assumption, despite the fact that you'll have to stay on the queue to get your food. But do they really mind? Because they say good things is not easy to come by, and you meet people on the queue, of course you don't have any choice than to wait, and when it gets your turn, of course you know you are not waiting in vain, you know what I'm saying, you are not waiting in vain, and whenever it gets your turn, you get the maximum satisfaction from it. No, 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 we live to stay on the queue, but I don't have choice. We want to buy whatever I want to buy, and I want to eat there. Uh, I'll get out. Unlike the regular fast food choice centers, what has remained the cutting edge of bucaterias? I think it's, it's not as expensive as the fast food. I think um, people like to do it local. Just be free and just do it the way they actually want. It's what they want. We are Africans. We want to go back to our roots. We want to come, we want to enjoy our traditional mala, our fufu, our semi We want to eat the bokoto. We want to eat the pomo. You don't get all this most of these bucaterias, I mean most of these fast food. Even the bokoto you get from most of these um, fast food, they are not as well prepared as what you get from here. The Ewodu, the Begiri, even looking at him. <laughs> looking at it, you know, my, 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 this is from my mom, that's root, you know, so that's just reason, really. African dish. The Begiri, Ewedu, is always there. Talking about local food, that is one thing any Bokateria is known for. Amala, pounded yam, semo, tuo, and so on. But that's not really it. The big deal is the accomplice, the soup, which comes in a countless number of variety. More so, the way it is served, soup on top. Are you salivating yet? Okay, let's place an order for you. Which is your favorite? Amala with Ogbono soup, yeah. Amala. Begiri and Ewedu. That is Amala, Ewedu, that's all, you know. Believe it, some of these customers come from as far as one can imagine to queue up and buy food. Even for some of us that work as far as the island, we hear of this place. Um, because we, anytime we try to come around, they may be too relaxed. We try to come and feel the experience as well. Whatever the reason for the preference of a bucateria, one thing is certain. Man or woman, guy or lady, rich or poor, in a place like this, there is no disparity. You may not be able to come here, but perhaps something you have seen or heard will determine your next pot of soup or your next choice place of fast food.